Even in sub-zero temperatures, man and man's best friend still find a good reason to get out together in the cold. In this week's Finding Minnesota, John Lortzen shows us why the sport of ski joring has become so popular in our state. It's the middle of winter, it's 10 below, but at least the sun is out, right? The sun is out, let's do this. Not even a midwinter deep freeze can keep a good dog down. Good girl. She's a little bit smaller than what you see in most of the competitive dogs, but she's uh, very strong and sturdy. Bela is a six year old cattle dog mix. She and her owner, Jonathan Thompson, form a formidable scajoring team. It's a sport that helps the winter go by. Let's go. A little faster. Hey, hey. Hey. Skajoring has a history that dates back centuries. Uh, there's some evidence of it even being in uh, in China centuries ago, as well as in Scandinavian countries, where dogs are pulling uh, skiers for transportation purposes. Horses and even caribou have also been known to pull skiers. Here in Minnesota, the modern version came about in the 1980s when two women, one a dog musher and the other a cross-country skier, helped create skajoring as we know it. The Twin Cities was a great spot for it because one, we have a huge Nordic community that embraces the winter, uh, outdoor winter um, uh, recreation, but also we have a lot, we have a big dog loving population. And so bringing those together was sort of a natural fit. Let's go. You need to have a harness that's made for pulling. The equipment is relatively basic, a harness, a yeah. bungee, and a skajoring belt that fits comfortably around the waist. But you have to be good on skis. Good girl, Bela. And you have to have a dog that isn't easily distracted. There's plenty of stories of people going after rabbits, squirrels, deer, you so name it. So they're putting on a few more miles than they thought they'd be putting on, right? A few more miles and a little bit different terrain than the skier normally wants. <laughs> but for 3K, 5K, and even 10K races, the dogs and their humans are locked in. She loves it. 10 out of 10 fun. We tell our dogs, heal, sit, stay. And with skijoring, we tell them, go. Commands like G and HA, which mean right and left, can be heard across the winter air. The pack for races like this one at Highland Hills has grown over the past couple years. We saw a huge influx of people adopting dogs. Now they're looking for an outlet for them in the winter. There's no doubt they have it. In the summer, Jonathan and Bela do bike joring and can across to get ready. Hey. But it's not quite the same. Hey. Dogs like Bela live for the winter. It's just a thrill that you can't describe. When you bring all of the components of skiing, the dog training, and all the equipment together into one, it makes for sort of a magical experience. It's really indescribable. In Golden Valley, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Uh, Jonathan and Bela race about four times each winter. If you'd like more information about their Skajoring Club, just visit WCCO.com slash links.